Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your weekly reading from January 24th to the 28th. This is going to be a reading for my Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested, Cancer, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Your overall energy cancer for the week. Wow, the Queen of Wands. So you're really feeling confident and strong and powerful. And you're looking pretty hot here, Cancer. You have the Nine of Wands, the Magician, the Tower, and the Ten of Wands. Oh, what do you manifest in here? Something you manifesting that you put out for manifestation is coming in. This could have to do with work. But let's see. I don't know. All right. Let's see about the Queen of Wands. You are a little bit defensive here. So it could be that you have a love decision to make. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Page of Moons. So I am feeling a romantic love offer here. Queen of Stars. Could be from an earth sign ace of swords hmm they are going the this person here okay because i do feel it's more than one love offer but this person that's coming through is showing up as somebody who knows what they want and they're going to be clear with you and to you about what they want so you're going to know exactly where you stand with this individual. And I feel you are going to appreciate that about this individual, about their communication style. Yeah, they're meeting your vibration, whoever this is, because I feel you're a high vibration and so are they. And this is where that communication is very clear. Especially when you're on somebody's level, you know, it just... They just make sense, right? All right, tell me about the Nine of Wands. Okay, they're saying that this person also wants to know where they stand with you. So they appreciate the reciprocity. Just to let you know, I feel like they're going to tell you this, uh, but just letting you know. So we have the Devil. It could be a Capricorn. We have the Six of Moons, okay? okay? This could be somebody you've known from childhood or somebody from the past that's coming back, the Ten of Stars. So there's a lot of happiness here or potential happiness anyway, but you are guarded. So this could be somebody from the past and this is why you're guarded or this could just be you're guarded because of, you know, the shit you've experienced in love. You feel a very divine connection to this individual. It's very strong, but this can scare you a little bit. And for something like that to scare a queen of wands here, that's pretty intense. I do have to say that because I do feel you're the queen of wands this week. Main female. So this person is going to be in their predominantly feminine energy, whether they're male or female. But I do see you as wanting to pursue something with this person. Tell me about the magician. 
the page of stars, the king of stars. Yeah, you see this person, you understand that they match you in vibration. This could definitely be an emperor to you being an empress. I feel there's a recognition there of that. But I do feel that there's a little bit of fear here of the intensity of the relationship. Okay. So you've got the king of stars, the chariot, and the page of stars. Right. Clarifying the magician. So yeah, this is coming in pretty quick. This is going to be surprising. They're going to make you an offer. And it's going to be very clear. Uh, they may frazzle you a little. And again, for the queen of wands to be frazzled a little, um, that's some pretty intense shit, Cancer. Mm, expectations. Now, why are you overthinking it? That's what I'm feeling with this. No, 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 no. Because of this intensity, now you're trying to bring it up in your mind. That's what I'm feeling. No. You need to just accept what's being offered to you, Cancer. Right? Do you want it or don't you want it? And you do want it. That's what I'm feeling. You absolutely want this. Tell me about the tower. But there's some fears with committing. And I feel it's because of past experiences. So you have the seven of moons, the ace of moons, and the, the four of swords. Okay. Oh, see, this is why they said they were talking about the communication, because you may not be communicating to them right away just exactly where they stand, because you're confused. You're going to be confused about the intensity of this. And it's something that you've always dreamed of, that you've always wanted. But now that it's present and you're actually experiencing it, it's quite intense and it's quite... It's overflowing. It's just, it just keeps going and going and going. There is no end to it. And that scares you. That just scares you. I'm getting this fearful, you want to be so in it. And that is the queen of wands. Be careful you don't make yourself sick. Because the queen of wands does want to jump in with both feet. And if you're pulling yourself back, you're going to internalize it. Which is what I felt here with the expectation you go into your head here and no no don't don't make yourself sick now utilize this four of swords energy to sort of meditate and look into your heart space but your heart not your head all right that's going to manifest as something physical all right, so tell me about the Ten of Wands. And this is what's going to be weighing on you with the Ten of Wands. The Ace of Stars. The Nine of Moons. And the Seven of Swords. Oh, Cancer, Cancer. You need to, and there we have the communication again. This is an opportunity at making your wishes come true. You have the nine of moons here, but with the seven of swords and the ten of wands, it's weighing so heavy on you. You need to, uh, don't run away from this because with the seven of swords, I'm feeling a couple of things running away possibly and not communicating to this other individual, just exactly what's going on within. If you have fear, express that. Talk about it, okay? Uh, if you feel this need to run, ask yourself why. Go in that Four of Swords energy and go within. Why? What is this fear? What's the root of the fear? Because you can run, but you can't hide. It's always going to show up in one way or another. See? Concern. This is an opportunity of a lifetime here. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, privileged lady. I exactly. That's that opportunity of a lifetime. Because you feel, you have this privileged feeling of, wow, this is actually here. So what is your advice here, Cancer? The fool. Yep. 
the Fool, and the King of Swords. Communication, truth, and taking a, a risk, taking a leap of faith on this. Let me get a um, get out of feelings of lack, feelings of fear that you will be lacking, because I'm getting a fear of will be lacking love. Like that that this is going to be given to you and then taken away. That's what that feels like. All right. That's where this fool card is just saying, take that leap and see what happens. See what happens. All right. What crystal is going to serve you this week most with this energy? Which crystal will serve you most this week with this energy cancer? Jade. Dream work. It's funny. We're talking about dreams. Dream work. So get some jade. All right. And keep a dream journal. There could be some hints and clues in there for you to utilize. All right, Cancer. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you use that link as there are scammers about Cancer. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading. As well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day, a great week, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.